welcome. Thank you. So I would first like to ask you to present yourself briefly and the school that you work for. Okay, um, I'm Jacopo and I'm working for uh, ESCP Europe, which is uh, one of the top 10 business schools worldwide. We have six campuses in Europe and uh, an executive MBA, which is uh, uh, well ranked in the top 10 uh, Financial Times ranking. Great. Yeah. Um, and to start off the interview, I would like to ask you, how can applicants best convey their fit to the program they're applying to? Okay, um, we are looking for best talented and uh, s senior manager candidates who want to uh, improve and develop their skills and their international profile. Uh, our program is third worldwide for international experience because we have people from all over the world and are all of them top candidates. Uh, so we are really looking for the niche of each country we, we travel around. And um, so first of all, they has to be uh, ambitious and want to uh, put themselves in, in the class where they are working on real business cases, uh, always out of the comfort zone. And, uh, you know, it's very tough experience, but is what we think is the most important way to improve themselves. Great. And what are some common mistakes that uh, applicants can easily avoid during the application? Um, normally they, c they try to sell themselves like they are not. Uh, so basically we, we don't request GMAT, we don't request uh, logistical, uh, logical uh, uh, gr grades and so on, because we are much more focused on the mindset and commitment of the candidates, because it's what allow you to bring your real value into the class. So for us, the most important part is to understand the commitment and the mindset which has to be aligned with our expectations. So uh, we want people ready to share their own working experience in order to uh, gain, be able to gain others, which is the only way to, to, to have a boost in, the, in their career and their uh, working experience and uh, personal also. Um, approach to the job. I see. Uh, and what is most important when it comes to the application essay or essays for applicants? Actually, it's the, one of the most important part okay. because uh, we have three open questions, and um, yeah, the second one is uh, to allow us to understand why your profile is so good. And uh, this is one of the most difficult questions for candidates. As you can imagine, they are trying to explain how much they want to enter in the program on how much they are super, but we want to understand which, are the, the, which is the why they want to put themselves in the class and what they can bring to the class in terms of value, in terms of experience, in terms of approach to the working in the class. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned before that uh, you do not require a GMAT score for the executive MBA program. So do you require any other tests for application? Uh, we don't require GMAT because we require GMAT for the full-time MBA, which is for people younger. Um, because we think, uh, as said, uh, the most important part is not to understand if you are good in sitting in a chair and understand the professor speaking, but if you are good in staying in a class and work with your classmate in a very intensive and under pressure way. No? So this is not for GMAT uh, part. Uh, we request an English uh, level certification, which has to be high level, C1 level. Uh, if you don't have a, an English certification, we have an internal one, which is for free for the candidates. So basically they can apply for that and get the result before uh, present the application to the international jury. Um, and we have a selection interview where we go deeper in the commitment and the mindset of the candidates with our professors, with our directors, which is the way for us to, you know, understand what uh, the candidate has written inside the online application. 
Great. And uh, as a wrap-up to the interview, a common question that many applicants have, how can they ensure scholarship uh, during their application? Yeah, uh, we have 12 scholarships each year for uh, what uh, we, are, we care about, we, we most care about, uh, for diversity. Okay, We have a scholarship for women leaders, a scholarship for uh, entrepreneurs, for uh, emerging markets, for small and medium enterprise and for non-profit sector and non-governmental organizations. Uh, every scholarship is 10,000 worth uh, euros and uh, is uh, useful for us to improve the diversity in the class. Uh, our classes are very diverse uh, in terms of nationalities, 32 nationalities, in terms of uh, industrial sectors, we have several industrial sectors in, in the same class because, as said, for us it's crucial to put candidates inside uh, in, into a very uh, diverse and, uh, and uh, multicultural uh, uh, environment. So, uh, to get a scholarship uh, you have to present your profile in the best way as most suitable for that, for the single uh, scholarship and uh, we support uh, all the candidates in order to optimize the presentation but the point is how much you can bring your value after the program on this subject, I mean for women leaders, for uh, emerging market, how you can bring your value to your market, to your country also if you work outside your country, but what, what can, can you do for that? So we want to um, award who, people who are committed in doing that, not just only for you know good uh, approach to the, to the program. Great, thank you very much. Thank you to you.